Hi! Hello! Our topic for the discussion today is all about finding the center of and radius of the circle given its general form. I have here two sample problem. Um, we are asked to determine the center and radius of each circle in general form, then draw its drop. Let's try number one. The equation is x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. What will be the first step? The first step is we are going to group together those with x and those with y. Then the constant, we are going to transpose it to the right side. This is what I mean. So we will be having x squared minus 4x plus y squared minus 2y is equal to 4. That is the first step. Then after that, we are going to apply um, completing the square. For sure, you forgot how to do completing the square. Um, we are going to recall it as simply as this. The first step is we are going to get the constant of um, x and y. The constant. So the constant of x is negative 4. The constant of y is negative 2. So for x, the constant is negative 4. For y, the constant is negative 2. Then, after getting the constant, we are going to divide it by 2. So negative 4 divided by 2. The quotient is negative 2. Then after getting the quotient, we are going to square it. That is equal to 4. That is your product. For y, we have negative 2 divided by 2. The quotient is negative 1. Get the squared. That is equal to 1. Okay? Then after that, whatever be the product, we are going to add it for uh, this. Uh, we are going to add 4 for x, and then we are going to add 1 for y to the left side. But whatever be the values added to the left side, we are going to add it also to the right to make the equation balance or equal. So for x, we will be having x squared minus 4x plus 4. For y, we have plus y squared minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 4. What, what are the, uh, uh, the constant that is being add, added to the left side? We are going to add it also to the right side. So 4 plus 4 plus 1. Then we are going to factor out x, this one, and also the y. Then simplify the right side. So there's a technique in factoring the x and y. So whatever be the number that is being squared, that is the constant or that's the number being uh, uh, being together with the x and being together with the y. So what is the number being squared in x that is negative 2? We will be having x minus 2 squared. That will be the factor of this, x squared minus 4x plus 4. How about for y? So for y, we have what is the number that is being squared? That is negative 1. We will be having y minus 1 squared is equal to 9. So based on the, uh, based on the uh, standard form, radius should be uh, squared. So what are we going to do with the radius? We are going to get the square root, then put squared. That is still the same. We are going to rewrite it. So we will be having um, x minus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to 3 squared. This is our standard form. So now we can graph the circle. Let us try to graph. What is the center? Center is 2 and 1. As you can see, 2 and 1. Then the radius is equal to 3. How are we going to graph this circle? First of all, we are going to locate the center. 2 and 1, center. Where? Uh, what is the location? That is in the first quadrant here. That is your center. Center is 2 and 1. Then the radius is 3. 
what are we going to do with the radius we are going to count three times what is the direction it can be upward downward left or right then using our compass we can uh, um, illustrate the circle so coming from the center three so here to the right upward here left one two three here one two three here let us try to uh, grab the circle or so that for uh, you can visualize the position and the size of our circle insert illustration improvise circle so shape circle okay let us try to grab Okay, so this is the um, estimated graph of our circle. But if you are going to use your compass and pro uh, compass and graphing paper, you will be having the accurate size of the circle. So the equation of this circle is what? That is x minus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to 3 squared. Problem number 2. 2x squared plus 2y squared plus 12x minus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. As you can see, x squared and y squared has a constant of 2. We need to remove it first. How? We are going to divide the equation, the whole equation by that constant. So the constant is 2. Divide them, uh, divided by 2. It will give us um, x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus y minus 3 over 2 is equal to 0. Then the next step is put together those with x and those with y. Then the constant transpose it to the right side. We will be having x squared plus 6x plus y squared minus y is equal to 3 over 2. Then let us apply completing the square. In completing the square, we are going to get the constant of x and the constant of y. The constant of x is 6 and the constant of y is negative 1. So 6, 6 divided by 2, the quotient will be 3. Then let us square the quotient, it will give us a product of 9. Next for y, so negative 1 divided by 2. Um, the <clears throat> the quotient is the same negative one half over uh, negative one half. Then let us squared. The product will be one fourth. Okay. Then whatever be the product, we are going to add it both side to the uh, left and right. So for x we are going to add nine. For y we are going to add one fourth. The same with the right side. We will be having x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus y squared minus y plus 1 port is equal to 3 over 2 plus 9 plus 1 port. We are going to factor out this one for x and we are going to factor out this one for y. Then simplify the right side so the factor of this is what is the number being squared for uh, x that is 3 we will be having x plus 3 squared plus how about for y what is the number that is being squared negative 1 half so we will be having y minus 1 half squared is equal to what is 3 halves plus 9 plus 1 fourth um, the sum of it will be uh, equal to 43 over 4 okay but we need to get the square root of the um, the radius then we are going to square it for the standard form so it will give us x plus 3 squared plus y minus 1 half squared is equal to 
square root of 43 over 2 squared. So, this is our standard form of a circle. Coming from the standard form, we, we can get the center and radius. What is the center? The center will be negative 3 and 1 half. While the radius is equal to square root of 43 over 2. Sir, the, the, uh, the radius is square root of 43 over 2. How are we going to graph it? So, simply, uh, simply get the value of that using your calculator. So, the value of square root of 43 over 2 is 3.2787. So, in graphing that, uh, the circle, uh, we, are, uh, we will be having 3.2787 units from the center. So, these are the given. Center is uh, negative 3 and 1 half. Then, the radius is 3.2787. Let us try to graph. So, the center is um, negative 3 and 1 half. And the radius is equal to square root of 43 over 2 or 3.2787. Let us locate the center. What is the location of the center? Negative 3 and 1 half. That is in the second quadrant. Let us zoom. Negative 3 and 1 half. Negative 3 and 1 half. So, here. This is the location of your center. The center is negative 3 and 1 half. Okay. So, after locating the center, we are going to count the units of radius. That is 3.2787. So, lagpas ng konti sa 3. 1, 2, 3. So, this is the estimated uh, position or location. 1, 2, 3. Here. 1, 2, 3. Here. 1, 2, 3. Here. Just to visualize the uh, kind of circle that we have let us uh, insert circle or shape so here circle okay mm -hmm. So, this is the um, uh, the graph of our circle with the equation x plus 3 squared plus y minus 1 half squared is equal to square root of 43 over 2 squared. So, that's all for our, uh, for our discussion today. Thank you. Have a nice day.